So I just went down and blah, 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 no so. Good, good, good. on day three in Las Vegas. Today's Brian's birthday. We celebrated by going to the Red Rocks buffet that we had seen on Worth It on YouTube. Um, they went around and tried a bunch of the buffets in Las Vegas and this was the one that they tried for breakfast and it didn't disappoint. It was quite delicious. Um, we went, came over here to the Red Rocks Visitor Center. We got to use our uh, National Parks Pass to get in so we didn't have to pay so that was a nice bonus. And Ben, of course, fell asleep. So um, he and I are sitting in the truck while the girls and Brian are doing the Calico Hills um, hike. It's quite pretty. We're on the scenic loop drive. It's a 13 mile drive um, through the Mojave Desert and looking at these different rock formations and the mountains that are here. This is the first stop. There's plenty of parking and there's lots of people out hiking. Uh, so we'll hear from them and see how it was when they get back. Morning. We're doing some uh, some lightweight vlogging this morning. I'm just on my phone, so hopefully the audio is okay. Uh, the reason I'm going lightweight is because we're doing kind of an off-road trail here at Red Rock Canyon, and uh, we're just just outside of Vegas, kind of north east, northwest of Vegas, and uh, it's really interesting out here. These were sand dunes that got buried and turned into sandstone. But these, unlike most sandstone, have a really interesting shape to them. So it's a, let's do this walk and do some climbing and check them out. So the first day we were here in Las Vegas, we got all set up at our campsite and then went into Fremont Street or Fremont Street um, where they have kind of like a covered walkway um, with the lights and everything and we were there pretty early, probably around 4 o'clock so there weren't as many questionable characters. Um, we stayed until around 6.30. We grabbed some food while we were there and, and walked the strip two or three times. The kids really enjoyed watching the people zip lining over our heads. <laughs> I only had to explain a couple of inappropriate things to Tara, but she is understanding of where we are and that there's some different things here, but nothing that was too outlandish. Yesterday we went to Hoover Dam and saw the Hoover Dam. Brian wasn't feeling well, so we didn't end up doing a tour, and it was hot as blue blazes yesterday. Um, so we kind of stuck to the shade, saw what we could see in the shady parts, the kids climbed on the rocks. It was nice, it was, good. It was, it was a good thing to see. I think we'll show Tara a couple of videos, um, you know, history videos about how it was made and how it works. So now that she has a frame of reference of what it is and the scale of what it is, um, she can have a little bit understanding 
when we watch those videos. We will do that as part of her road schooling, learning the history of the Hoover Dam. So Brian and I often have to take turns with Ben. Uh, he just turned two last week, so he still needs his nap in the morning or in the afternoon. And he takes a good two, two and a half hour nap each day if he can. A lot of the times one of us will take the girls and do something a little more adventurous or fun during the day. And the other one of us will hang out with Ben and kind of have some downtime. And it works out, it's okay. Um, it's just the way we have to travel now because we have little ones and we have to be aware of their needs because Ben without a nap, as with most two-year-olds, just isn't a happy camper. have to be aware of that and um, as many of you who travel with kids know, if they're not happy, the whole trip is going to be, well, <laughs> going to be a struggle for everybody. So one of the things that we had to, to weigh when we're going different places is whether or not there's a place for Ben to have some downtime and to take his nap. What's, what is that? Tortoise. No, Tortoise. Fly. Tortoise? Okay. Wait. Oh, Brooks flowers. These are Brooks flowers. 